the heat off the tip. Well, we've got some hot starts and some ugly starts early in the season. Grant, how long should teams wait before worrying about their record? Well, it's simple, B.A. If you have a bad record, you should always be worried. <laughs> but most GMs don't think about making changes until about the halfway mark. Now here's Jackson. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Fast break Miami. Here's MP. Perfect night MP. so far. Two for two. Assist we call that gentleman a grown Tyler man's Hero. move. MP, earn your paycheck, baby. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Kicks it out to Jackson. Now Brown. Butler covering. Just five to shoot. Back to Jackson. Fires the three. Rebound by the Heat. Their last encounter in Miami. The last time they faced this team, they were very Indeed. aggressive. Found numerous ways to get themselves to the line. That's about focus and body control, folks. MP, we know this. He's not afraid to mix it up a little bit physically. Jackson. And again, another missed shot. The Heat have gone three of three out of the gate. MP with it. Jackson in his pocket. And a foul call. Shooting Take two from the free throw line. MP. It's going to go on Four Reggie Jackson. And he makes a first. Well, before MP made it to the league, we all saw his stuff on social media. And it's been fun to watch MP grow over the years. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Ross can't get it to go. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. Stolen by Ross. Outside Tatum. Oh, MP with a block. Got to commend the hustle from MP. Fantastic work staying alert on defense and coming up with the block. Outside for Butler. On the wing, MP. Baines, a screen on Jackson. MP finds Baines. Tatum with a steal. And here's Brown for three. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Well, this is the aspect of Tatum's game that is most improving. The ability to manipulate defenses and find an open teammate. Now here's Hero. MP, the pass to Hero. Butler against Brown. To the middle. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. Well, just a great example of Jimmy Butler's unselfishness. On time and on target. Beautiful pass. I mean, it is crazy to think how far Jimmy Butler has come. I mean, he didn't see a lot of the floor in his first two seasons. Then soon after, he made four straight All-Star games. Now here's Tatum. To the paint. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Well, Jason Tatum has proven he can score at the NBA level, but you want to see him share the basketball pretty fast. MP with it. Picked up by Tatum. There's Jackson with the three. And the Heat, another three. And Butler in his career, Grant, he won most improved player in 2015. I mean, it's like he became a 20 points per game. It's T-Shack time. Fans, your Celtics dancer. Going with an almost oh, entire new man. group here. Muscala, he's checked in for Baines. Niang comes in for Jackson. O'Neal, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Barton in for Hero. Here's Neesmith. To the right side. To the inside. And he bangs it home with one hand. And a solid pick to free him up for the dunk. Boy, the timing there couldn't be any better. But the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. On the wing, MP. He played a great game against Boston. Muscala, the pass to MP. The kick out to Barton. Three-pointer. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. Boston trailing. Up top, Tatum. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul. for the Celtics. They're shooting a rough 29% from the field here. Setting the floor for Miami. Royce O'Neal is out there with Jimmy Butler. 
Then there's Tyler Hero. Then it's Jackson. And it's MP in at the point guard. Inside. Tatum with a steal. And a foul called on MP. That's foul number two for him. Well, that's two fouls on him early. He'll have to be careful not to pick up another one. Here's Snell. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Ross. Let's it fly. The shot that time, not on target. And Miami will go the other way with it. Coming into this, having knots to win against Boston in their last game. And that one, the other team could not keep up with them offensively. <laughs> they were prolific. Well, let's give some credit to the coaching staff as well. Recognizing the weaknesses in that defense and going after each one of them. So important. Doris, can you give an example of the type of play that demonstrates a player processing at a high level? Well, no question, B.A., on the defensive end of the floor, number one, do you have game plan discipline? Do you know your opponent's personnel? Can you force them to an area of the floor they're not comfortable or to his weak hand? On the offensive end, do you understand the angles necessary to set a great screen? Do you understand how to process a play as it's going and make quick decisions? So much goes into winning on both ends. Now here's MP. Stolen by Ross. Kick out to Brown. Gets the three to fall. Brown's got six points. Well, to me, that's excellent timing from Jalen Brown. He shoots with confidence, knowing his teammates trust him. Well, he tries to answer with a three of his own and can't do it. You can't get caught up in the one-on-one -on -one aspect. James passes to Ross. Pass to Tatum. Just five on the clock. Here's James. Over MP. Oh, he used the shot fake to create the angle, but he couldn't get it to fall. Jackson outside. Jackson with a screen on James. MP, the pass to Jackson. Jackson against Tatum. A three, James. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Tatum's got four assists now tonight. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Boy, we have seen Jason Tatum improve each and every year. Not just his productivity, guys. He's so skilled. But it's the leadership. It's the maturity for his age. That's really striking. Boston calls timeout. It really is, and every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Caldwell Pope's checked in for Boston. Jackson comes in for James. Here's MP. The rebound, Celtics. And Doris, Tatum's acumen as a playmaker now. His leadership by example. Well, championships are won with unselfish play. His teammates have developed their games as well. This guy now trusts them and wants to make sure everybody's involved. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Celtics played really well. He picked up 22 points this and put in so much effort at the defensive end. Great two-way game for him. He had every facet of the game working for him. Consistently in the right place MP. at the right time. And the only question now, how does he follow up that performance? Yeah, each night comes with different challenges, and I'm sure their opponent has seen the film. What you love about this guy, though, is even when the defense adjusts to what he's doing, he'll make an adjustment right back. He is always ready with a counter. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. MP, a screen on Ross. Back to Bazemore. MP against Jackson. Here's MP. Oh, a terrific shot on the turnaround. MP's got 19 points. Don't sleep on the mid-range. Still an important shot. MP delivers. Ross finds Tatum. 
50 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Ross with a screen on MP. Oh, and Jackson with the block. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Back to Jackson. Here's Caldwell Pope. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Boston, no good that time either. And here's MP from outside. Nice D from Brown. From deep three-point range. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And with the score, the Celtics, 19. The Heat, 36. at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done the ball. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum. They're the forwards. Jackson out there with Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Ross in at the center position. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Jackson, the pass to Brown. Jackson finds Brown. Back to Jackson. The three ball. Great focus from MP on the defensive end. Not allowing the shooter to slip by him. Still looking for his first make. And they could really use the help right now. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert to traffic. And Jackson, here we go. Oh, and Jackson with the block. And he gets it back. Right side Brown. 4-3. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Tatum's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, you've got to get out on Jalen Brown now. This is a young man who has shown great strides in improving his perimeter game. Now here's Jackson. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Jackson's got six. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And a superb job of creating just enough separation to hit the shot. Well, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness at the offensive end? MP doesn't go that time. And the Celtics going the other way now. They'll be hosting Toronto for their next one. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. I think Brown demonstrating he's got a... Caldwell Pope. James is checked in for Boston. Look who's coming on onto the court. Come on and get loud. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Celtics foul. Kentavious Caldwell Pope. That's his first personal foul. The Celtics. Substitution on the court. So it's Boston now. Outside Tatum. 43 seconds left in the third quarter here. Count it. It can be a very difficult thing to check Jason Tatum because of the multitude of ways he can score it. Give me the floater game, JT. Now here's MP. 19 points in the game. Barton outside. Outside Butler. Jackson the screen. Shot clock at six. From the arc. The rebound. Celtics. Outside. Brown. Tatum passes to Brown. Down low. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got assist number seven tonight. MP outside. There's the triple. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. With the score, the Celtics, 39. Levine, 55. 
Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Setting the floor for Miami. We've got Jaron Jackson. Will Barton is out there with MP. Then there's Butler, and it's Baines in at the center position, locking down the middle. Here's Brown. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Pass to Butler. Fires from deep. Can't hit that one. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Here's Pritchard. Now Tatum. Here's Pritchard. Launches it. Rebounded by Baines. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Oh, MP throws it down. Creativity, confidence. MP rise up. Drop the hammer, baby. A difficult situation for Boston. Jackson outside. Inside. Butler with a steal. MP outside. And there's the drive. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Ooh, I think he wants that one back. I mean, he knows he's capable of better. Offline with a three. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. MP, the pass to Baines. Tatum against MP. Here's Pritchard. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Tatum's got eight assists in the game. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Now here's MP. Baines inside. Guarded by Ross. MP drives in. Oh, and the dunk by MP. I like that bucket from MP. He forces the issues and takes it right to the rack. Boston has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Outside, Brown. Pass to Tatum. Here's Pritchard. There's a screen. Kicks it out to Jackson. The three. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got his fifth rebound in this one. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's MP. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot. Brown. That was not a foul. We'll never question MP's toughness. I mean, he's willing to take a few lumps down low if it means points <laughs> or a trip to the line. And some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Grant, is that something you'd like to see? You know, I wouldn't mind that at all. I mean, it just speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'd be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace a team. You know, one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. From 13, MP, a screen on Brown. Here's O'Neal. Again, the Heat misses. The Celtics have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Jackson outside. A minute 31 left in the fourth. Ross for three. And it's Miami with a rebound. Jackson's got six rebounds now in the game. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Heat. And the huge difference today, the efficiency from beyond the arc. <laughs> yeah, once they started hitting shots, it stretched out the D and opened up the entire offense. And this one concludes with their second victory of the year. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for MP. What a relentless scoring night for this guy. In attack mode all evening. Now here's MP. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth. Let's it go from deep. Again, the heat misses. 
And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Jackson can't get it to go. MP against Brown. MP, the pass to Hero, kicks it out to Jackson. Brown against MP. Jackson, the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Jackson on the wing. The three is up. Nice D from Brown. That's the end of the game. Thank you for coming out and supporting your team. Please take care to get home safely, and we'll see you at the next event. Uh, Tori's in the house. What's up, bud? Thanks, MP. The team seems to be really gelling lately. Is there anything you feel like you guys need to work on? Uh, on the court, no. Off? Oh, yeah. Are there some internal issues, Bubbleina? No, nah, just some of the guys here don't look sharp enough. You know, we should have some standards. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Anybody in particular need the most help? Uh, <laughs> they go hate me for saying this, but uh, probably the coaching staff. Like, obviously, they got other stuff to worry about, but sometimes I look over at the sidelines and I'm just like, yo, you're making us look bad. And then again, maybe it's just extra motivation for us to throw down and put on a show so nobody look at the sidelines. Like, uh, I don't know, but I say, I say the coaching staff, yeah. You gonna throw him a bone and help out? Hey, look, I probably have to. And I might got to do a trip down to Swags. You know, I do most of my shopping there and set them up with some basics to build around. You got to start somewhere, and for these guys, that somewhere is a rock bottom. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Thanks, MP. Thank you.